Greece is bracing for a runoff election as the Conservative Prime Minister seeks a mandate to govern alone after a crushing victory in Sunday's national vote. Uh, Kyriakos Mitsotakis and his centre-right New Democracy Party landed 20 points ahead of their leftist challengers, but he failed to secure an outright majority. So, Greeks will head to the polls again in a month's time when Mitsotakis will seek an even better result. Journalist Yorgos Christidis in Thessaloniki is following the election for us. Uh, so, a surprisingly strong performance there by Conservative Prime Minister Mitsotakis. How did he pull it off? Yes, that was uh, beyond his wildest dreams and beyond the worst nightmares of his uh, opponent. Um, the Greeks showed that they want stability, they want a uh, one-party government, uh, and that uh, everything else uh, took uh, second place. But, uh, I mean, they just want a strong government. Okay, they, they want a strong government, but do they want another one-party government? That is the question. Uh, a lot of people are wondering exactly what happens yes. next. Do you think that Mitsotakis can get the mandate in a runoff to govern alone? Yes, I think based on uh, his uh, performance uh, yesterday, I think it's uh, almost uh, certain that he will get uh, the absolutely, uh, absolute majority he needs to govern alone. What about the, the left-wing opposition in this election? They didn't do, obviously, as well as they were hoping to. What held them back? That is absolutely uh, correct. This is uh, quite a mystery. They even lost uh, uh, the youth uh, vote, uh, which uh, they were uh, far ahead, uh, according to the polls, for, for, for months and years. Uh, uh, I believe that the main reason is that they did not offer a convincing or, or a governing alternative to the Greek people who desperately uh, need the element of stability after uh, more than a decade of uh, term, turmoil. Yorgos, thank you very much for bringing yourself to date. That was Yorgos Kostidis in Thessaloniki.